What's good you guys? Let's have an emergency meeting about all the AI stuff. A lot of you have probably seen that TikTok where the dude used AI to change his voice into Drake in the weekend. It blew up a bunch because he really like bought into the whole like AI branding, you know? Like he was wearing a sheet pretending to be a ghost and all that. Over here, everyone's getting super mad about it and like music is dead. And then over here, all the kids on TikTok are like, Oh my God, this is crazy, it sounds better, you know? So, as someone who works in music, as a producer, you know, I have a little bit of perspective, so let's, let's talk about it. Now, I feel like people on both sides are getting a little carried away because there are people who feel like it's gonna ruin music and there are people who feel like it's going to change everything. Now, one of the first important things to cover is that song isn't truly AI. They're using an AI to change their voice to sound like Drake and The Weeknd, but it's not actually like AI generated. You know, like they made that whole song and sang it and the only AI part of it was just using the voice filter which a lot of you guys have also seen like the Kanye voice filter stuff. And I, I don't know, from the artist perspective, like I would be annoyed if people were using my voice and profiting off of it. You know, like if someone made an AI that was just like, it makes Rio beats and they were selling them for 20 bucks, I'd probably be pissed. The technology is going to keep advancing and I don't know what they're gonna do legally about it, but obviously there is a demand for that type of stuff, you know? That video blew up and a lot of people have been streaming the song. There has to be some way to figure out how to compensate artists. You know, like I, I should be able to be like, no one use my voice for AI, that isn't allowed, you know? But the fact of the matter is people are still going to do it. So how can we set something up that makes it so that artists get compensated for their likeness being used? For instance, what if I go take the Drake AI, but then I, I change it a little bit. And then I'm like, no, it isn't. It's inspired by Drake, but it's not really a Drake AI, you know? Like then can I put it on Spotify? Cause that dilemma is really going to be what we're dealing with. You know, only in the past like year, AI has come so far. So imagine where it's gonna be in like five or 10 years. The music industry and just all the copyright law surrounding it is gonna have to catch up really fast. I don't know, that brings me to like the other argument of like overall, you know, like if we're in a world where you could go on your phone and generate a song with any artist and any beat that you want, what does that do to people who are making music themselves? You know, does that lower the value of the music that all of us musicians are making? I get that some people are, you know, really pessimistic about it and they feel like it is going to do that. You know, we're all gonna be out our jobs. You know, the AI is gonna take our jobs. And to that, I'd say there will always be value in really genuine, good, creative music. I, I feel like the whole point of art is like expressing yourself and your ideas and feelings. And at least where we're at right now, like AI can't do that. It's studying humans and what we do, but I feel like there will always be value in music that has like a message and emotion behind it. That being said, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of, you know, like very mainstream cookie cutter music, AI does take that over. For instance, there might not be as much of a job for just making the most simple basic loops and drums. That might be something that AI can do. Maybe we'll reach a point where producers become more like prompt makers. You know, I, I have some crazy program in front of me and I just type in, oh, I want a beat that sounds like this, that has this in it, and then it just pops it out. But maybe what will happen is, you know, all the super commercial music will become AI, but then all of us creatives, it will mean that we have to make really cool shit to stand out. You know, like if there's no reason for me to make a really basic beat because an AI could make it, well, I love music, so I'm gonna go make some crazy thing that I feel like AI couldn't make. You know, maybe it will push all of us to make more special timeless music because I think it will be a long time before AI can really replicate that. And there, are, there will always be people who listen to music partly based off 
relating to the people who made it. And you can't relate to an AI in that way. Like there'll always be kids on TikTok who hear the Travis Scott AI. They're like, oh my God, this is crazy. Make AI utopia, you know? For every person like that, I know there are a bunch of people like me who part of listening to music is about the relatability and hearing the emotion in what they made. Uh, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's going to be okay. There have always been technological advancements that everyone freaks out over, you know, computers, phones, electricity, everything, you know? Um, and every time everyone freaks out and feels like everything is gonna change. And that's really just part of us like evolving as a society. Like it is going to be uh, a rough time for creative things because there's a lot of people, like I said, who don't care. Graphic designers are getting hit real hard, you know, because you can use Dolly and make crazy art you Using it. You know, video editors, you know, they're they're making AIs that can edit TikToks for you. Maybe it will push us to just do better and make cooler stuff. Like for instance, my friend, uh, Stupid Lou was talking about how before photography was invented, people were really focused on hyper realism. You know, they wanted to capture a moment so they would make all the, like a lot of the things they're making super realistic. And once you could take a picture of something and save it, that meant that there wasn't as much of a use for those hyper realistic drawings and people started to make a bunch of really cool abstract art, you know? And, and a lot of the time these technological advancements can affect art in a way where, you know, on one hand it might seem bad because it's taking our job, you know, but really because of that, we're going to have to adapt and, you know, find ways to make things that are still valuable to people because I get it. If I could make something, but then an AI could make it and it's 10 times as cheaper, like people are a lot of the time gonna go with the AI version. I feel like it's more important than ever to build your brand and really be a person because there's a lot of producers who are, you know, they don't show their personality, they don't show their face, they don't do any type of content. And if AI gets to the point where it can really emulate us, then the only thing that separates us from the AI is like our humanness. So that's part of why I've been going crazy with all the content stuff is I realize more than ever that it's really important to be a person and be able to relate to people because not including the AI stuff, there's so many producers, you know, to stand out, you have to really put yourself out there and put, you know, a face to things. And I, I hope that you guys do that more because to really stand out, that is just super important. I just realized I was looking at the screen on here and I wasn't looking at the camera and people be bullying me about that. I'm sorry I wasn't looking right at the lens. I I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. It's just crazy how we can really be here for a part of, of history, you know, and whether you like it or you don't like it, it's happening. We just have to adapt and as creative people, you know, like just, be true to ourselves and if it comes to it and we gotta just make super crazy out the box shit because all the mainstream stuff is ai so be it honestly i probably i'd probably have more fun that way so let me know what you guys think where you guys think it's headed just wanted to check in with you guys about that because it's been going crazy lately yeah whether we like it or not um in like five years it's gonna be totally different i'll see you guys